So here we have two MacBook Pros, two X1s, two CDJs, and an iPad, two Audio 8s, and a powered USB hub. One computer mixes externally using channels 3 and 4, whilst the second computer mixes internally using the iPad as the mixer. So the first X1 we connect USB to the MacBook Pro. Also into the MacBook we have a hub which we connect the Audio 8 to, so it never loses power. This, from this Audio 8, we have a MIDI out. And the settings on the computer um, for this main, this is the master. Um, we have it set, we have the sync button synced and playing there. The MIDI out goes into the MIDI in on the other Audio 8, which is also connected to the second MacBook Pro. We have the iPad connected, it's just on charge there, but it's connected wirelessly to the second MacBook Pro, and the X1 is connected to the second MacBook Pro, which is this one. Now this next little section you want to do on both computers, we're going to make sure that the generic MIDI is set to all ports, in and out. It's one step that many people miss when they're setting up MIDI to MIDI. Also in the MIDI clock, the send MIDI clock would be on the first computer and this one stays unchecked on the second, so this is the slave. Also for the iPad, make sure that if you're using Touch OSC, that uh, the iPad section here, protractor, is also set to all ports. So make sure you've got external checked here as the master time signal is coming from the main computer. Make sure you press sync and just check the BPMs are the same. And there you have it.